Our first elimination game of the day saw something happen. Something hasn't happened since 2000. That's the number one seed go two in a queue. Kennesaw State falls 6-0, but it really started with the bottom of the order getting things going. Yeah, the bottom of the order was good, and then you had this young man who was absolutely spectacular. Chris Irwin would also settle in as well, but Kenton Herring was the story for FGCU, a career-long six and a third. After a couple of strikeouts here and there, finally FGCU. How about this defensive play by Kennesaw State's Upshaw, who actually had the only two hits for the Owls. Yeah, a tough outing, and then Maybe one of the boldest moves of the day was starting Stefano Belmonte. Hadn't had a home run all year. Goes two for four with that two-run bomb after what was a two-out walk. And that made the score 3-0. FGCU had put a couple more on the board. They would lead 5-0. Kennesaw State, though, would threaten and load the bases. Yeah, but then you got big pitching out of Sterling Kerner, the closer. He would earn his fourth save of the year. There was a pop-out for the second out of the inning, and then a pop-out for the final out of the inning as the center fielder would be able to settle under it, and FGCU would come out of the inning unscathed. They would attack on another to lead 6-0, but it was all about FGCU baseball, which is traditionally pitching in defense, and a final strikeout here as they move on to continue to play in the A-Sun Tournament.